It's a good cost efficient manufacturing process that allows for high repetition of tight tolerance components. A conventional powder metal process with mechanical presses, we can do up to seven inch components all the way down to very small gears that we manufacture. Hi, I'm John Chellingsworth with SMC Powder Metallurgy. We are a manufacturer of powder metal components. A powder metal component is a part that starts with a powder, as you can see up here on the screen, and it's compacted in the die under pressure and then centered at temperature. It's very close to the strength of a wrought steel. We can compete with a 4140 steel or an 8620 steel as far as strength and hardness. This is a part that is formed in the powder metal process. There's no machining done to this part whatsoever. Uh, everything's formed in the mold. Um, we have some holes that are molded in here to help reduce the amount of material that's used in this component. So the process for this part, it's a molded, centered, and heat treated part, and it's ready for use by our customer. You have a choice of different metals depending upon the application that you have to use the material in, whether it's gonna be high strength. We're also able to do stainless steel components and that's just done at a higher temperature centering process. 5,000 pieces or more makes sense for powder metal because of the expense of a die to manufacture. We can do some quite high tolerances, a few thousandths. Where we need the most tolerance is in the direction of mold because of die fill, and that's usually plus or minus 5,000. We also make safety features for doors. This is a dead bolt for a door, door lock. We also do uh, differential type of components that we manufacture. Yeah, again, more gearing, heat treated, pressed, centered, and uh, ready for use by our customer. We also manufacture ring gears where the uh, splines are internal compared to the exterior. Now this part here is a molded centered, but if you can see inside there are some grooves that need to be secondary machined prior to heat treating and supplied to our customer. This is a six point six pound gear that we manufacture. It's almost seven inches in diameter and you can see where the lightning holes are for the production of this component. That means we don't have to have material here. So if somebody's going to cut a gear like this, those will actually be filled in with material because these part slots here where there's actually gears that are going to ride inside them in the application and then there'll be other gearing on top. Well, about seven inches is the largest we can. It's all surface area that for the compaction of a part. We understand how that part's going to change from that molded state or the green state to the finished state. Whether it be a stainless steel component, it's going to have more shrinkage than a nickel steel component. Uh, we can compete with a casting in the, as long as we're able to help design the parts because they need more um, rounded edges than what we do. We need more squared off edges in our process. So if we can help in the design of the part, we like to start at the beginning of that design phase. We can design it for powder metal compaction. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.